Welcome to the Hemophilia Council of California and the California Chronic Care Coalition's webinar, Conquering Insurance Challenges, Finding New Coverages and Overcoming Denials. I'm Lynn Kinst, Executive Director of the Hemophilia Council of California. Thank you for joining us for this important topic. With that, I would like to thank Takeda for sponsoring our 2020 webinar series. Now, I do see that there's one question um, for Kelly that came into the chat. If you currently have Medi-Cal, but you started working um, in March, you know that your coverage won't immediately be canceled, but how soon do they need to apply for Covered California to transition over um, now that they do have some income com coming in? Thank you for the question. Um, important question because I know we're all transitioning between incomes and jobs. Um, so I would say if you are happy with Medi-Cal, they will always notify you if your um, coverage will be ending and you're eligible for another program. If you would like to transition before that eligibility, then please feel free to give your um, either our service center or your county caseworker a call to clarify what your options are. As I mentioned, Medi-Cal is changing when they transition folks out of Medi-Cal. Um, so it may work a little bit differently now than, it, in usual, um, than the usual times. But if you report your change of income, they should guide you through that process. And so you shouldn't feel like there's this invisible deadline where you have to apply without anyone notifying you of the process. And oftentimes, Medi-Cal will transition you uh, to Cover California to select a plan. But please feel free to call if you have specific questions about your case. Great. Um, and I've got a couple of other questions that have popped into the chat window. Um, and I'm going to jump to one that, another one that relates to Covered California, um, Kelly, which is what is the best contact for patients to use when wanting to know the status of their Covered California application? Hmm, interesting. I would say uh, for sure call our service center. Um, if you have questions about a pending application um, and we will be able to look at behind the scenes what might be going on if you feel like something is holding you up and uh, let me bring let's see i'm just looking up confirming so that's 1-800-300-1506 we can type that into the chat for everyone too for those that are on the chat so what was that again kelly uh 1-800 Mm-hmm. 300-1506. Thanks. Okay, and then this next question, um, which was for, I think would probably be more geared towards um, Liz to see if she has any ideas or suggestions. The um, says, my local hematologist refuses to see me despite an active referral from my PCP. What should I do next? Yeah, you know, that. Thank you for that question. That's really important. First, I would ask their office why you're getting that refusal, and do they offer telehealth? And if you're still being denied, I would say please contact us so we can help work you through this um, and see what we can do if we can find out the answer for that. Great. So maybe go to um, my patient rights and submit yes. that story. Um, and I think, um, you know, that's something that the Hemophilia Council as a member organization of the Chronic Care Coalition, you know, that's something that we're going to continue to collaborate on. So if stories are coming into the porthole at My Patient Rights that relate to bleeding disorders that we know and are aware of those situations and we can partner together on getting those situations solved as best we can. Absolutely. So I just want to thank everyone uh, for joining us. Thank you again to our presenters, Kelly and Liz, excellent presentations. Um, we just want to say to everyone, you know, our best wishes as you seek to conquer your insurance challenges. And please remember that you do not have to try to tackle these challenges alone. Um, Covered California is there as a resource. 
the Hemophilia Council is here as a resource and the Chronic Care Coalition and My Patient's Rights programs are here as a resource and we wanna help you um, to be successful in conquering your insur insurance challenges. So please reach out to us if we can assist you um, with those problems. So with that, thank you for joining us today and uh, have a great rest of your afternoon.